my dad uh, driving up here in his red Cavalier with the box trailer. It was really, we were nobody's, you know, and you know, I was only eight years old, so. Dad spent all week in his off time from work preparing the car and making it look stunning for the race weekend. He can and I come and destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> I was up playing, I was a kid. This is where your career started. You know, I used to come here and race 14 years before you were even born, so this track has a lot of history. This is sort of the, the Silverstone. What it, you know, to cars. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. I remember my first races here. And the place has changed so much, they've done such a great job with it. This, but the track is still the original track. When you look back in your karting career and, and compare it to where you are today in Formula One, do you, do you have that same sort of warm feeling and passion for the other days? I do. Karting days are the best, you know. You're bombing around, you think you're going fast, and then all these, these guys in faster carts fly past you out of nowhere and just give you a heart attack. But anyways, one guy hit me on the inside into turn one, and I went flying off into the wall. Smashed my helmet in my face on the steering wheel. Nose was bleeding and everything. And this was, this was the day before the first race that I was gonna do. I got pushed around a lot when I was young, but I gave just as much back. <laughs> um, we should get out there, and I should show you some of my skills. You've not been in touch with Nico recently, have you? No. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm part of a hit uh, squad yeah, going to take yeah, you out. Maybe, maybe. I'm going to be careful. But I've been really focused. Oh, yeah? And I want to see if I can sort of, you know, still let's mix the moves with let's you. Let's do it. Yeah. Should we go and get a kit on? That'd be cool. Yeah, let's go. So, Lewis, this is where it all began. Let's uh, try and reenact the old carting magic. Not too bad for an old man, huh? I'm wide, I'm wide. <laughs> Up you. Where are you going? <laughs> Whoa, thank you. <laughs> I've always been known as a late breaker. And it's because my dad used to go and stand at the side of where we break and he would see where the top drivers were breaking. And then he would go a few more meters later and he'd make me break there. There used to be a pond and I was often in that pond while I was learning to break late. Try and grab his bumper. Oh, I think he's going to cut back on me. <laughs> I think I've kind of, kind of lost it a little bit. Come on, drive, man! Don't any crap. And he's off. How are you kids? You're very well behaved. Do you know who this is? Is that Lewis Hamilton? Yep. <laughs> Now, one thing that you probably don't know, or you may know, is that Lewis Hamilton used to go to your school. How are you guys doing? Lewis Hamilton? Woo! Uh, of course, with your gloves on, you can't make a noise, can you? <laughs> you all live in Stephen? Yeah. Yes. Whereabouts? I live down Petrie Way. Petrie Way? Mm. That's where I used to live, Petrie Way. So you just walked through the park to school? Yes. Yeah. I just remember being with Nico and we would just always be talking about, you know, just how cool it would be one day to be teammates in Form 1, that would be crazy. And we talked about boats and we talked about all these things and what we'd call our boats and it was just, just all uh, a fantasy at the time, you know. When was your first race? My first race was here, uh, yeah, I think it was in 1993, so I'm quite old now. But that was when I was your age, I was eight years old. Yeah, can anyone imagine being 29 years old? Does that, does that seem really old? Or 47. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just added four years to me, I'm 43. I'm sorry, man. No, I, but... I, you know, it was quite crazy just to come here and see people get in for the first time. And the difference between some of them, you know, some of the goals are going 
going for it. Some of the some of the boys are a little bit more timid, and then some of them are going really quick. Some, one of them over nearly ever took you. He did. He yeah. threw it down my inside into the <laughs> corner, which surprised me. Here's video from um, toughest competitor so far. Good question. My toughest competitor so far. Oh, well, Fernando Alonso, who's who I raced with years ago. He's still in Formula One now. He drives for Ferrari. I think he was probably my my toughest adversary. Yeah. Moving to British Grand Prix, same oh, as any other Grand Prix, or is that no? Kind of the Silverstone Grand Prix is particularly special, um, naturally because it's, it's your home Grand Prix, it's your home crowd, and the heritage and history of motorsports in the UK. I remember winning my first Grand Prix there, and, and the trophy you get, the, you know, the gold trophy. Uh, I mean, it's got all the all the drivers that have won in that Grand Prix, and that was an unbelievable feeling. I'll never forget that. From karting to Formula One, it's everything, man. We've known each other for a long time, haven't we? I've known you since you were that size. Yeah, I know. Some yeah, of these guys are bigger than you were. I bet when, you, when, I was, when I was that small, you were like, he's not coming for my job. <laughs> that was the only time you probably looked up to me. Yeah, I was hopefully coming to take David's place. No, no, I still looked up to you, don't worry. <laughs>